What's the cheapest rifle you got that can take down a deer? Can I take a look at that guy? Dude, that's light too. Is it? Yeah, it looks nice to me. Yeah. Son of a. That'll work. Sucker kicks like a mule. Oh! Yeah, I was wondering my finger hurt. Ready, boys. Folks, gotta let you know that Bucks is having a massive Halloween sale. All apparel at BucksHunting.com is 20% off right now through the 31st. So you're running out of time. Link down below if you guys want to go check it out. 20% off all apparel at BucksHunting.com through the 31st. And as you read the title correctly, we are going to go deer hunt. We are going to do a catch a cook. We'll see you at Walmart. Shit! Alrighty folks, we made it to Walmart. It is time to go get ourselves a brand new pew. I'm gonna go after the cheapest, the least expensive rifle that's capable of taking down a deer. Okay, using Walmart's cheapest rifle to go out there whitetail hunting and get her down on the ground for a catch clean cook. We'll see you guys inside. Alrighty folks. Ooh, look at all them. Sheesh. Oh yeah, they got a lot going on there. They got a lot of guns back there. Seen anything from 116. That's for a 22 though. I probably can't do that. To 894. That might be the most expensive pew I've ever seen at 4570. You shoot an elephant? That's really expensive. 894. That is crazy. Hey, how we doing? What's the cheapest rifle you got that can take down a deer? 378. It's a little further to the next case over. At the, uh, at the bottom there. Yeah, is that a 6.5? That's a 6.5, yeah. Yeah, the old 6.5 does it nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's for 378? Yeah. That's probably the cheapest one then, huh? Yeah. Can I take a look at that guy? 300 bucks for the old 6.5? Dude, that's light too. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice to me. Are you a deer hunter? Uh, a little bit. What do you usually shoot with? I got 30 odd 6. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel, like this, I feel like this would do it. I think that'll do it. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's get her rock and roll. I like that. That's a nice one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to the back, get the paperwork going, and get the pew. But look at this. They've got everything you need to make a bow hunting video here. Like a literal. an adult size. Is it a lefty, though? Probably not. That's tough for me. Yeah, yeah. So you might need to be, you might need to be sling. Either that or we get the old freaking Barnett. Okay. Yeah, we get a little crossbow action. We're like thinking, we're like, man, we're doing a Walmart challenge. What if maybe in the future we come here and have nothing? Meaning we got to get a bow, we got to get arrows, we got to get broadheads, we got to get field tips, we got to get everything, and then get a target, practice everything, go to the house, get it dialed in, maybe get a freaking ground blind like this, or even look, they even got tree stands, they even got double tree stands right there. What about a youth size bow hunting challenge? Really? We're looking over here. They got everything for catch and cooks. They got heaters. They got trail cameras. Like this freaking Walmart's got it all, baby. So maybe what's going on there? Heads. Yeah, they got it. They got it all. You guys want to see that? Maybe do like a we literally come in here with nothing and we buy everything to go out there and deer hunt with a bow and hopefully shoot one and then use the stuff here like a cleaning kit, clean it and then get ingredients to cook it. Like a one, well, this Walmart would be a one-stop shop. If you guys want to see that? Let me know in the comment section down below. But so, but he's gonna go get the pew in the back with the paperwork, run my name, make sure I'm not a felon. We should be good to go. We're going to take it back home, get it sighted in and dialed. And tomorrow morning, we're going to go try to get a big old buck down on the ground. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right. Most important thing to do when you go to Walmart and get the cheapest gun is uh, get her dialed in, folks. So we got some nice fresh spray paint. Paint it up. There it is. So we're down at the pond. You know, this thing might not be much for a fishing pond, but... The uh, backdrop from the dirt robbing that we did, great backdrop for, for shooting. So you can see where we're at. The house is up there, and the soon-to-be, hopefully soon, probably not soon-to-be pond is down here. So we have a bore sight. If you guys don't know what that is, I'll, I'll show you that. It's pretty cool. It uh, saves you quite a bit of ammo when you're doing stuff like this. It's basically this magnetic laser that you put on the barrel of your pew, and then you basically adjust your scope to where that dot is, 
basically just get you on paper is what they call it, which on paper means if I go climb to the, you know, maybe halfway up that hill or to the top of the hill and shoot, I'm at least going to hit the target. Am I going to hit exactly where I was aimed on the crosshairs? Probably not, but at least I am going to hit the target. And that way, if you go way back and you shoot, or I wouldn't say way back, let's say you go 50, 80 yards and you shoot and you don't hit the steel target, you don't know where to adjust your scope. High, left, right, low. I don't know why I said that order. You guys know what I'm saying. You have no idea. So, but if you're on paper and you're aiming center mass and it hits right, then you know to adjust it to the left. So that's just, I don't know. I, I found it to be pretty useful. Not everybody needs it, uh, but we always get new pews. I feel like we get new pews all the time. And so this obviously helps get dialed in quicker and you have to use less ammo this way, which is always a good thing. So, brand spanking new, straight from Wally World. We got the cheapest rifle. That was deer caliber. It was this or a 22. Bam! She's ready to rock and roll. That thing is light. Isn't it though? Really light. Like real light. Yeah. Like I was pretty surprised how light it actually was. So they give you a little lock and key and it's just a little target. What? Death ringer. I don't know what that is. And we got some target 6.5 as well as some hunting 6.5. So the target 6.5 is 125 grain. The hunting is 140. So we're going to use the target to get close and then we'll end up switching over to the 140 to actually like really, really dial in. We're going to probably go from 50. What's going on? Two stage trigger. Dang, <laughs> son. That's pretty. Was it was it pretty smooth? That sounded like it was. No, it didn't sound. No, that, no, that's not, that didn't sound smooth at all. Pretty honestly. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really expect anything less from from Walmart, but probably do fifty, a hundred, and wherever my house is from here. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go up to the driveway and I'll just boom, ring them out that way in case. And oh, I completely lied to you guys. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta confess. There will be no buck hunting tomorrow okay this was an antler i like i knew it was antlerless but when i was talking about hunting i was getting excited and then i was like i said it and i turned the camera i was like wait a minute this is an antlerless only season which is why we're allowed to use rifles so early on because it's an antlerless only season so to disappoint you guys yes we won't be harvesting a buck but hear me out we might see a big buck and then we can come back with a bow or wait till rifle season either way we're there to harvest some deer catch clean cook style so yeah this so i was explaining this so this is a magnet Okay, so magnet, and then there's a laser. Yeah, there you go. You see it. Bam. Bam. That's pretty close. That wasn't bad. Pretty much center that up as good as you can. Okay, then that's on. And what you do is you aim that laser at the target. Can they see through the scope? Yeah, you think they can look down it? You know, I mean, I can try. Yeah. See that green dot? There it is. So it's not, it's not too far off. So what we'll do is I'll back the side by side up and get it to where I can rest, like onto something that's steady. And then we'll adjust it and get it close, and we'll let it round rip and... See how close we are, you guys stay tuned. Bam, ear pros on. I feel like you can hear your heartbeat with these. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird. All right, load up the old 6.5. Some of you guys are haters with 6.5, which I get it, like, it's all about, you have to shoot them from certain distance for it to like get out to its like full potential, for it to like open up. Sometimes it'll like, like it won't expand. That one's got a red tip. Oh, that's a Hornady. Oh. That's what, see, I was putting, I'll just do all Chesters. I've killed more deer with the 6.5 than any other caliber. Doesn't mean anything other than it is effective, but I guess some guys have bad luck with it. See after you send a couple. Dude, for like 300 bucks, this feels decent. Yeah, it doesn't feel It's bad. not bad. All right, so the dot is low left, so we need to go down and left. Going further away, go this way. We're on the money up and down. Right, I'm sorry, left and right. <laughs> it's pretty much spot on there. The other thing this thing's nice for or doing this for is muzzle loaders. Because uh -huh. sighting them in suck. Yeah! That's center mass if I've ever seen it. Yeah! Son of a. That'll work. That sucker kicks like a mule. Yeah. Please. Oh! Oh! Yeah, I was wondering my finger hurt. The trigger guard just exploded. Two shots. I've never had that happen before. Walmart. I think it, I think it's probably, oh. it's probably my fault because yeah. I I was resting it and the the kick hit that. Yikes. Now we're just freestyling it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we don't have a choice, right? Don't get that trigger caught on. God, anything. my finger. I was like, damn, that hurt real bad. That <laughs> I'll I'll take the blame. That was on me. I I shouldn't have rested it up against that. I was just. Not expecting that. How many yards are we? I don't know. Let me get my Buck's bino harness out that has my binos. I can't see shit. Hang on. 36. Yeah? That'll do it. <laughs> you think that's what I we're call calling it a day? Let's go to the house. We should try to get to 100. Now that, I mean, we're on paper, paper pretty good. Yeah. I'd say, well, let's go paint it. And let's get back to 100 and see what happens. You guys stay tuned. 148. 
Yeah. That's a big difference. Yes, I'm is. curious what it's going to do, though, uh-huh. from 36 to 148. All right, you little wild willy son of a gun, you. I've just never had a gun in my entire life that's had that issue. Did the two-stage blow out, too? I think it did, yep. You're one stage now. <laughs> hey, let me see what happens if I do this. Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're back We're back to two-stage. How'd you feel? You know, not great. <laughs> I was right where the other one was. Saw the dirt behind it. Woo! I was looking good there, buddy. Oh! oh yeah, that's low. Woo, baby! Right in the freaking forehead there, pal. Low. Right in the neck area? Yeah, right in the neck, but I was aiming pretty center of the head, so I need to go up. Jeez. Yeah, I would say that's a dead deer, Smacked boys. pretty good. Right there. in the forehead. All right, she is sighted in. Walmart gun. It's ready to go. We'll see you guys in the morning. Shoo! All right. Well, that was probably a little too loud for deer. Shoo! We got to be a little bit more quiet. Well, folks, we are ready to rock and roll. We are headed out. We are at the same place that we shot the first deer of the season. Remember the liver shot and the doe and we never found her. It was super unfortunate, but we're at the exact same spot. We're not going to be climbing in the poison ivy tree though. We're going to be climbing up into the tower blind that's just to the north of it. Pretty much hunting the same thing. They've got that little watering hole there. All the crops are out. All the beans, all the corn, it's all out. So they should be moving into the fields and kind of picking up whatever is left on the ground as well as maybe giving it a, a little bit of a sip. So we've got Wild Willie though. He's still here in in, in the flesh right here. What do you think about Wild Willie? didn't go off in the truck on the way here. <laughs> no, surprisingly not. No, he, he made it out alive. So yeah, let me get, get remember that I got to bring back the OTTD. Oh, OTTD. Oh, Alpha of the day ladies and gentlemen we've got some fleece line pants found them at walmart i'm pretty sure okay and then here we've got the waist pack which has all the essentials okay like the six five okay like an archery release because we're not archery hunting but that's in there oh and most importantly some jam so we've got the waist pack in here and then we've got the bucks bino harness with you guessed it binoculars okay so that guy is set up and ready to go. And then up top, okay, we've got this little ninja suit outfit thing. There it is. <laughs> is that how it's meant they to won't be see used? me coming. I won't see them coming. It's a it's a win win. So we've got the ninja base layer, okay. And then we've got the box camo hoodie. We've got the box orange, the box orange, and some ducks boots. And then we've got this little carbon fiber shooting stick and our friend Wild Willie from Walmart which occasionally gets western. So, that's the OTTD. See you guys up in the blind. All right, boys, I made it. Just in case, you know, might get western out here. What's he doing? Strutting stuff. He's just getting after it right then and there. I think so. It's eight in the morning. This guy's absolutely got forsaken. That's what he's doing over here. He's just, honestly, he's just getting after it by himself. Oh, he's pissed. Oh, snap. Let me see if he's got white nuts. He's got white nuts. He's pissed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. The old WD Smackdown boys. Look out. 
Dude, he is white as a ghost. Oh, wait, dude, look, look right, look right, just pan right, pan right. Look, look, look. Oh, look at the dude. They're watching the show. They're watching the show. Look, the deer are watching the turkey. That's crazy. turkeys they're still getting after it okay there's been multiple hens that have joined them now they've got this whole little ring going on yeah. i'm not exactly sure if this is like a ritual or what the hell they got going on there's like six turkeys and they keep going in circles around and around they've been doing it for about 20 minutes it's basically keeping the deer you can see them down in the ditch it's keeping them from coming to the watering hole that's in front of us so now they're walking down the creek to get a drink and there's big mamas in there. There's two little ones, but there's one big, big mom right there. She walked with the big mom. Issues I can't shoot. I mean, I can shoot down there, but the old 6.5 is not a brush round. And turkeys are still doing their thing, so they're kind of preventing the deer from coming up where I think they want to be, which is in front of us. Yeah, those are big. She's down. She's down? She dropped. I was gonna say, I'm like, I lost her. She dropped. Is she dropped? Yeah. Oh, God. I was wondering what you were doing over there. Why do I, lo I lost her? I was like, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, you pillowcased her. Oh, oh my God. We got Walmart pew, baby. There's three of them still out there. Oh, wow, Willie. Wild wow, Willie. Oh, yeah, dude, like, I shot, not like, I don't know, I got disoriented. And I looked up, for some reason, I thought the one that was behind her was the one I was. Not the one I was aiming at, but you know what I mean? Like, I thought she ran away, and I was like, what the hell? How? And then I was like, wait, there's only three. And then you're like, no, you dropped her. I was like, oh, God. Let's get Willie up. Not hot, you know, because <laughs> Willie's always hot. Wild Willie, the Walmart pew, done did it. Sat here, it's about 9 a.m. We had a bunch of deer come in, but they didn't, that, like, actually, right where that one is, is where the last group came in. Maybe it's the same group. And I thought about it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna let them get closer. We got the watering hole in front of us. I want the footage to be good for you guys. And then they left. And then another one ran across the field and she left. And then another one came in at like 220 and I was like, ee, ee, ee. I don't know if Willie's got that, you know? Willie's good out to about 150. So we sat here and we're about to call it. I'm just like, yeah, it's probably not gonna happen anymore. Like the turkey's done messed up the group over there. And, the, and everything was just kind of on edge. It seemed like, except for that first two. And all of a sudden, three or four come filing out, waited until I could see which one's the biggest one. Front one looks the biggest. She was cornering towards me a little bit, so I tried to aim a little bit like towards her shoulder more. But that was probably, you got the binos handy still? Oh, they're right here. Yeah. 130. What did we shoot yesterday? 135 or 150, something? 149. Was it 149 is what we were targeting? 148, yeah? 147, yeah. Okay. See, that was gonna say, that's pretty much pretty much where we sighted Big Willie in at. Uh -huh. Big Willie did the trick. So we're gonna give her I think she's down right there. And I got confused too because <laughs> my shot. I don't like the deer, I just the, they were so close together. I thought it got away and I was like racking around, like, oh my god, I miss. How did I miss? Jake's like, she's down, dude. What are you doing? I was like, I don't know. I thought I, I for some reason in my head, I shot and watched the deer run away, but it was, there were so many of them in a tight group that I just lost count. And Jake said that. She dropped. Yeah, she's down. She's down. All right, we're gonna give her a second, go take a peek, and now we harvest it. We gotta go back to Walmart and get the ingredients for the catch clean cook. You guys stay tuned. Wow, this might be the easiest track job I've ever seen. <laughs> Dude, she's on the road. 
on yeah. the road, dude. Big old mama, dude. Holy smokes. Big girl. So you can see there, there's the blind over there. Right here. So they were walking. They come out and they'll feed. So there's beans. Right here, you see these pods. They'll walk down this road. And I wanted them, that's what happened the first time. I wanted them to get right in front of the blind and make it an even easier shot. After seeing them all get scared and whatnot, I got scared and said, we better, better let it fly. So as soon as she quartered a little bit towards me, we let it let it hammer down. But this is literally the road you drive on. So like, literally you can just drive the truck here. This is great. I like this. This is the easiest, easiest track job. Mr. Willie, this proves you can go to Walmart, okay, buy the cheapest rifle they have, side it in, and the next morning you can harvest. I think that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty impressive. And yeah, just don't do what I did and rest it on there. Like I said, I'll take blame for it, but big old mommy, dude. That's a freaking giant doe. Look at that. Big old Sheila boys. First harvest of the season wasn't a giant buck. We couldn't shoot bucks. Like I said, this was a special antlerless permit for rifle kind of early season. So took advantage of it. Now we can fill the freezer up and we're going to get back to going serious hunting at the ranch, hopefully for a big old buck. So we're going to get her cleaned up, skinned up. As you guys know, you can't see on YouTube. You can see on Uncut though, if you guys want to check it out. And uh, we'll take probably the majority of her meat to the processor to get processed, but obviously we're going to keep some for a catch clean cook. And like I said, we're going to go to Walmart, get all the ingredients to chef it up. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All righty, folks. Well, it's the next day. We got the deer all cleaned up. And Banjo, how are you feeling? Congratulations. Thank you. Pull them out. Full mount. Actually, just the ass. Just the uh, yeah. Just the just I'm the, do one the little where doe the ass. Heads like in the front room, and the ass is in the back. I do room. like that idea. Yeah, we gotta cool. find. The, actually, you know what? The office up in the man cave would actually work through the office room, yeah. and then there, like right now, where we've got yeah. the deer, we could actually do that. So, uh, anyways, we're headed to Walmart. We started the video at Walmart. We're gonna end the video at Walmart, and we're gonna go get ingredients to do a catch clean cook. And since we're going on a budget, we gotta find something simple. Maybe even something that kind of does it itself. They've got these little kits out in the hunting section. Right Right where we picked up Wild Willie, and we're gonna go back to Wild Willie stomping grounds, and they've got like sausage kits and jerky kits. So we'll see what they've got, and see if, kind of like a DIY. Instead of taking it all to the butcher and having them process it, we're gonna do the processing ourselves the easy way. You guys stay tuned. Wild Willie stomping grounds, boys. There's oh, there's Wild Willie right down there. Mm -hmm. This is where you get Wild Willie. Okay, so it wasn't right here, but near this deer area, they've got some little kits and stuff. Let's see. Gone forever. Bam! Yeah, we forgot camera batteries. But we went to Walmart and we got the goods. So, summer sausage kit right here. Bam, bam. And then we even had some of this. This is some high temp cheese, which means it doesn't melt until it's at high temp. So you can put cheese in it. And then we got these fat big dog casings, Banjo. This is the biggest really? casing I've seen. Really? This might take a while to, to cook this sucker. The ones we've made in the past were much smaller. I mean, that's a... A That's a log, son. But one thing we don't have that I realized, one, it got lost in the move. We don't have the attachment that goes on here for you to shove this over and then it fills it. So, Banjo, you're gonna have to hand stuff. I can do that. That's not a problem. Yeah, so it's gonna take us a little bit longer. Normally there's like a little cone attachment, but we couldn't find it. So my guess is during the move, somebody went and just yeeted it. So here's what we got from the deer. These are the old tendies, we filmed pulling these guys off, and then we took one of the, the rear hind quarters. Uh, it was the top round, wasn't it? Or was the bottom round? So. I it's good both. It, it was, was a, a little bit of pieces. A little bit of both. Yeah, so yeah. just basically a chunk of meat. Just so, because this right here, we didn't think would be enough, and clearly it wasn't, because we got these big dogs. There's supposed to be three pounds of meat in this. So that's probably what we're dangling with, three to four. And I took a play out of your guys' playbook, okay? I froze these parts, okay? That's, we didn't freeze the meat because I didn't cut the meat yet, but you guys commented, I read all your comments, if you freeze all the components, it'll grind easier. So that's what it is. So all these are fresh out of the freezer. They're nice and cold. Basically what we'll do is just start making basically chunks and we're gonna grind all this up and we're not mixing it with nothing. This is just straight up venison. We did, like I so said, we got the, the cheese and all the seasonings and stuff from like the Walmart kit. And we'll see, because we've done this before. I just don't know if it was with deer though. I think it was, I think we made it with duck for sure. Fire. And then maybe goose one time. So I think I've made this maybe three times, but I, do, I just, I don't have a memory of it being, uh, of it being deer. So go ahead and slice these guys up. We're gonna have to cut these again to get it to fit down in that, that hole there. So now you got that. Go ahead and kick this bad boy on. Yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. Get it. Get look at that straight venison, boys. Doesn't that look good? Looks like the ground beef you get at the store, but even better. Chuck it on. Oh, she's splashing a little bit. E easy now. So we're going to grind all this up, and then what we'll do is we'll take all the seasonings, mix it all together in one big bowl, and then what we'll do is we'll run it through again without the cutting blade. So it basically just re-shoots it out. And again, we don't have the cone, which is unfortunate, because the cone would have made this go way faster, and Banjo would have been able to pack a much tighter sausage. We're going to make do with what we have. We didn't want to have to go to Amazon or go drive around around town to try to find one. I said, Banjo's good at hand stuff. I will say your guys' freeze thing, I don't know if it helped, but it, did, it definitely didn't hurt. I mean, it's, com it's, it's coming out nicely. Yeah, I think it did help it make it not stick to the inside as yeah. much, because it's, you see, it's able to push this last little bit out. I think it did have, definitely help. That's a ton of freaking meat, dude. Bam! I mean, dude, that's gotta be five pounds. What do you think? You think it's five? I feel it. I mean, that's a big girl. Yeah, that's five pounds. I mean, it's got, I think that's five pounds. All right, so this is, like I said, this is the seasoning, and we got a hunter summer sausage. So it's supposed to be, for hunters, I don't know. The hunters blend. Look out. Okay, half cup. Check. Two tablespoons. One. Two. And then two teaspoons. What? Like I feel like this is just obnoxious. Bam. Two teaspoons. Okay, seasoning. Is done. Three tablespoons of cure. So you use a significantly less amount of cure than you use seasoning. One, two, bam, three. 4.8 ounces of ice water. It's very specific. To do this, you gotta add, put it in the ice so it's nice and cold. Okay, trying to get the cubes in there. It's technically ice water. Good to go. Bam. All right, boys, stir the pot. Yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, that smells like sausage, boys. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good to me. 100% venison, boys. All right, high temp cheese, boys. I'm excited for this. Yeah, yeah we, we've always talked about putting the cheese in there. We've just never, never pulled the trigger on the old cheddar. All right, go ahead and mix. All right, stuff, boy. You got to start stuffing. How's the cheese taste? I haven't, tr I haven't tried it. <laughs> He's always eating straight for straight eggs. raw. Wow. He's just raw dogging out the bag. That's pretty good cheese. Try it. Oh. Oh. How do you think it's gonna go? I think you gotta go knuckle deep. You, you can't, dude. That's gonna just gonna you're gonna lube the whole thing up, and it's gonna be a bad deal. I feel like it's this is slow, but it's an efficient process. All right, let's work it down. Dude, that doesn't work that bad. That's not, that's fine. Look, at see all the cheese in there? Yeah, yeah it looks, looks good. good. It looks it nice. Good. Yeah, this is a good. fat sausage though, Banjo. This yeah. is a big boy. Well, boys, we're gonna go ahead and stuff Banjo's sausage here. And we're gonna tie her up. You guys stay tuned. Bam! Look at Banjo's sausage. That's something. How does that make you feel? All right, boys. We, we do have a little ways to go, but I don't want to get it too close. Because every time we add, it just, it's not worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and give her the old twist. And you know how to tie this one up, Banjo? No, the old, not get, a, get, the, get the palo bar got going. You got it. I'll hold it for you. <clears throat> Anything about that? A couple grannies and finish it off. <clears throat> Anything so about that's that? gotta be good. Jeez. She's ready. Bam! Banjo's meat's on the grill. How's it make you feel? Excited. So the instructions on this say 120 for an hour. This thing lowest is like 180. So what I'm going to do is find a way to maybe crack it open. Okay, that way it's not hot in there. Sure. That's the plan. So it's smoking now. So we'll, I'm basically just going to smoke it for probably three, four hours. We'll see what happens. I mean, it's not, that's how we've done it the first time, but this guy is a little bit of a thicker piece of meat. So it might take a little bit longer than that. We do have a good breeze up here. I don't think this thing's going to get too hot. So Fingers crossed, we gotta get to what? One, 150, 156 degrees? Not 55, not 54, not 57, 56. 156, you guys stay tuned. Shoo, look at that wiener banjo. That was amazing. Oh yeah. Good. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Look at that sucker. Didn't shrivel. Not yet. It still, it still might get some shrinkage. You put it in cold water, it shrinks, you know what I mean? It happens. So we've got cold water to stop the cooking now that it's up to temp, yep. You're only gonna be able to stop about. Should have got like a, a pan. Okay. Just laid it in there. I didn't have like a big, a big 
five gallon bucket. We got a lot of those. I do have some five gallon buckets. We're just doing. You don't have to. So you can just let it cool off. But like we figured, this would stop the cooking so it doesn't get overcooked. It's also, I think, it's supposed to help. What you'll see is once the thing cools off, it'll like shrink up a little bit. I think it's supposed to help with that as well. It already is shrinking up. Yes. Yeah, see, oh yeah. See, see it shrinking. It's shrink it. getting, getting shriveled. Like this is your method, or something online told you to do that. Yeah, we just made this up on the spot. I'm like, it's still gonna be hot on the inside. Well, yeah, yeah we're just gonna do this. Just hear me out. Oh. oh. How's that look, Banjo? Pretty cheesy Smells to me. Fire. Yeah, it does. Oops. You want wet meat or no? Yeah, hold on to it so it doesn't go under. Preferably not. Well, we're going to cool... Ah, oh, <laughs> you got wet meat. We're going to cool our meat down. And then we've got a boy meal charcuterie board. Cheese stick. A chunk of pepper jack. Taking a bite out of it. Yeah, a little shoe got a little nib on that right there. And then we got some crackers. So, you guys stay tuned. How does that make you feel? Yeah. Wet meat, boys. That was our way of cooling it down. But you could always put it in the fridge, probably. But it didn't shrink that much. I mean, we've oh, made them yeah, before. Yeah. They look real shriveled up. So, yeah, I forgot. how's that make? Should we let that? Let's let just let that just one just do its thing. Because it's so it's hot up here, but it's cold where it had the ice. So, we're getting a little hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the tip off. I mean, it looks fine. Yeah. Mmm, that smells freaking good, dude. Dang, look at that cheese, though. You like that? It's the first time we've. I think that's the first time we've stuck cheese in there. I like it. All right, it's hot. The rest of it, so. How much to drink that water, Banjo? Oh, really? Thousand dollars. <laughs> Dang, son, just to drink Jeez. some freaking weenie water. Do you think it's gonna be more or less? Banjo is a big hot dog water guy. Yeah, that looks gross. That's one hundred percent venison. No, no mixies. Nothing to dilute it. It's just straight up deer. All right, here we go, boys. Mmm, that's really good. We definitely did not add too little amount of spice. I don't know why I said it that way. But it's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> there's plenty of seasoning. There's plenty. Like, mm -hmm. there's plenty of seasoning, Someone buddy. A little extra we, might, we might have done a little. It's it's. She's hot. Heavily seasoned. Mm hmm. Maybe it wasn't six pounds. It's not like it's even too spicy. It's just like too much seasoning. Too much over. It's over seasoned. But it's good. I it feel is. like you'd use a cracker on it. And you'd be fine. Might be able to dilute it a little bit. It is over seasoned for sure. I would recommend you weigh your meat because I think we oh, oh, we said it weighed more than it did. And I didn't really suspect it to be a bad thing. It's, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing. It's just, uh, yeah, you, you need some water with it. Yeah. Is it better with a crack? Have you tried it yet? Mm-mm. All right. Here we go. Mm. I almost wish I could taste the deer more. You just mm -hmm. kind of get pow seasoning. Way better that way though. Yeah. yeah. The old mm -hmm. boy meal charcuterie board. Yeah. Trick. Yeah. We over. We definitely over seasoned it. I'll try it again. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't think we were that far off on our on our recipe on the weight, but we must have been. Yeah. Which cheese do you prefer? Mm, I think pepper jack. Pepper jack. Mm -hmm. With the cracker, it's pretty solid. Without the cracker, there's just a lot going on. Yeah. I mean, we need. Cut a couple more pieces. What if we got a really, what if we got a seasoned size. piece? I'd say our cheese ratio is pretty good though. Yeah, yeah cheese, cheese, is cheese, on look, par. cheese looks good. I think our seasoning was just a little strong. God, <laughs> the ratio. Well, I don't have a knife over here. You so. want me to cut no, you? It's all right, it's all right. Holy, that thing's <laughs> spilling over the edges. It's still probably gonna be a little hot. Does that good. slice any better? Or is it still pretty over seasoned? Heavily seasoned. Is it? This could use a little less. Just like very salty, almost kind of tasty. Mm -hmm. This also is a new seasoning flavor. We've never actually used it before. I say it's pretty good. You want to give it a try? Sure. You just got to raw dog it. Yeah. You you understand what we're saying? Should let it cool down. Like <laughs> it's weird that it's warm. It's a little warm. Oh god, yeah. There's a lot of seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's not bland. Yeah. There's some spice in there. Yeah. I know it's like it's it's hot like a spicier like heat more than I expected, but yeah. it's spicy. Like, and maybe that's it. Maybe there was the blend. Cause normally summer sauce is very tame. And so like, maybe that's why I was like, who cares? You'll be fine. That hunter's blend. Maybe they think these hunters like to blow their ass out occasionally. So maybe they, 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 they might spice it up a little bit. Yeah. Get the hiccups from this yet? Or yeah. No, it's not that, that spicy. No, you didn't get the, you didn't get the hiccups? Yeah. That with the pepper jack, I think, I think you're going to like that. Mm. Much better. Yeah. Cheese helps. Smells it out a little bit. What do you think? 
Is that a good cracker? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we definitely over-seasoned it, but for it just being deer, flavor's there. It's just, it's just got a little, it's like, you're making like scrambled eggs, just put a little too much pepper on there, a little too much salt. You're like, yeah, it's not bad. It's just like, eh, it's just a little bit too much or like putting a little too much salt and pepper. It, that, it's kind of like, a, it's an over-salted peppered vibe. It's not like it's bad. It's not like too much like garlic or anything weird. I mean, the boys are tearing it up. So I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. No. I would just, I would go ahead and recommend measuring your meat because we did a six pound ratio and I'm guessing we were maybe close to five which again i didn't think was a huge issue but a little bit spicy and i think letting it cool off like jake was saying would probably help make it look less like you know medium rare ground beef yeah. which is not it's fully cooked it's just i think cooking it a little bit lower a little bit slower a little bit longer and letting it fully cool we do, do this was our we were planning this for lunch we started this video at like 8 30 this morning okay that took like four or five hours to cook. So we were all expecting this for lunch, an ounce dinner, and if, as soon as it got up to temp, we're like, take it off, throw in some ice water, because we're freaking starving. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Got a big old Sheila down with Wild Willie, our friend Wild Willie. Got the dough taken down for the count. So if you guys like the deer videos, let me know in the comment section down below. And remember, everything we use in today's episode is available at buckshunting.com. We'll catch you next time. And...